Hi guys and thank you so much for joining me. It is Brett from Fashion by Brett Robson. Okay, um, that's really weird, but it's actually not Fashion by Brett Robson. It is just Brett Robson now. Um, my website has been brettrobson.com for like the past year and a half already. So I actually decided to finally make the change and also change my Facebook page, which is Fashion by Brett Robson. So now it's just Brett Robson. Um, everything's the same except it's just Brett Robson now. So hi, it's Brett Robson. So as you guys can tell, I have three lip kit orders here. Um, these two came together, they actually had arrived a day apart. So what I did was I consol consolidated these two via Shapito. And then this one came um, like a month later. Um, what happened was this arrived basically on the 23rd of May. Both of them arrived together and it was crazy because it only cleared, it took about three weeks to actually clear South African customs. So I, was, I actually thought these packages were, were lost and I was like so worried. I was like, oh my gosh, please don't tell me I spent all this money and I, I didn't insure the packages and stuff, I think. Or one of them I had insured and one I didn't. But the insurance value was so much lower and so I was freaking out about it. Like freaking out legit. Because no one would spend that much money and then lose the parcel. Anyway, so um, yeah, let's actually show you guys what I got in these packages. Obviously, you would know what I've actually um, ordered via my blog post. If you haven't read it, I did detail what I did order. So this is what I'm ex I was expecting and I'm super excited to share with you guys today. So um, this one is a lonesome lip kit because it's for giveaway. It's Dolce K and um, if you don't follow me on social media, check me out because if I have the giveaway live, You'll find it on social media about it, so get on there and follow me. Um, I don't know when I'm going to run the giveaway or what the process is going to be, so check it out. So in this box here, we have True Brown K, Mary Jo K, and Coco K. I am wearing Coco K on my lips, as I have mentioned before. Um, let's see what these look like. Um, so this is True Brown K. This is what the packaging looks like. Obviously, you guys know that I'm going to do reviews for you guys. I just want to swatch it though, just so you can see and get an idea of uh, what the colors are. Um, oh, this is actually a very nice brown. Um, so this is True Brown K over there. And yeah, I hope you guys can see it okay. Um, the formula so far, obviously I can't tell you guys much because... I need to try them out before I actually give you a review um, but I am going to be doing reviews so don't worry reviews are coming especially if you guys are going to spend your money on something you should be able to see a review and um, you know get some feedback on it Mary Jo K um, I have actually worn this one before and I won't lie look at this red hey it's a beautiful red color um, it's my kind of red it is really my kind of red I really like it and um, yeah, it's a good red. Very good red. So obviously you guys can see Coco K on my lips, but I will swatch it on my arm for you guys as well. Um, so far so good. So far so good. I'm not minding it as a color. And then this is Coco K over here. Hope you guys can see them okay. Um, I kind of was swatching it on my... Um, Snapchat, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, it's Brett underscore Robson, and I show a lot of stuff that I don't generally show elsewhere. Um, but that is True Brown, Mary Jo K, and Coco K. So let's move on to the next box. Um, the next box over here has, okay, so it has in it a Dolce K, Court K, and Candy K, as well as a Literally Lip Gloss. Um, I will swatch these for you guys. Um, as I mentioned, I've got Dolce K for a giveaway also separate from this. So this one that I'm swatching is my one. Don't worry, I won't give you something that's been used. Um, so Dolce K is like a brown nude color. Um, the packaging here, guys. Packaging is legit beautiful. Um, so this is Dolce K. Stunning color. I really, really like it. And um, when I actually do for you guys the... Um, review on these I will give you guys possible dupes that you can use as well because I know a lot of people are interested in dupes um Court K I don't know why this box came a little crusty looking it was why do I say crusty so much I don't know but anyway the box came a little tattered looking but I mean they're, they're beautiful boxes they really are and um Court K last night I actually used it on my lips for about 45 minutes before I went to bed 
um, because obviously testing a lipstick takes a while so um, it's nice to just test it here and there I feel like Court K is a little crusty and not crusty, patchy I feel like Court K is a bit patchy um, so this is Court K and I mean it's a beautiful burgundy deep 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 purple color um, it's a lot like High Drama from MAC um, in the Retro Matte Lipstick so if you have High Drama not saying it's an exact dupe, but um, very similar. And then this is Candy K. So Candy K, I think, is very similar to Coco K, um, but a bit more brown, maybe. Yeah. So this is Candy K, and that's Coco K over there. Um, I feel like you almost if you mixed um, Coco K with Dolce K, you'd get Candy K. Basically, that's kind of what I feel. I hope you guys can see the swatches okay. Um, I'm a bit dodged with putting on swatches. Um, and then let's put on Literally um, as well because Literally is the lip gloss that I ordered. Um, so here is the Literally gloss. That is the Literally gloss. So I mean it's really beautiful colors. Like you legit can't go wrong with these colors. They're very beautiful. Um, as I said, I'm not going to say whether I love them or not as yet because I haven't actually reviewed them properly. So, um, one of the things, obviously, when I used Court K last night in bed, I did have a cup of tea. And I noticed that um, it did come off on my, on my cup a bit. And as I mentioned, it was a bit patchy on my lips. Um, this doesn't really come off for anything in my opinion. Um, a Mary Jo K I wore the other evening. I went out and I had a couple drinks. And um, I was, I always drink out of a straw, and I did notice that in the center of my lips, wearing Mary Jo K, um, I did have to kind of reapply a bit of um, the red over there. But other than that, it's a beautiful color, Mary Jo K, it really is. Um, but as I said, reviews are going to come, and it's going to be legit reviews, and I'll do lip swatches and everything. But so now that I have gone through my unboxing of these products, um, I kind of want to know from you guys, how are you feeling about it? Like. Do you think that the hype has died down? Because I legit feel like the hype has died down and I feel like I've missed my top. Um, I feel like um, the hype has died down and that people aren't buying it as much as when it first launched. But yeah, I want you guys to just like give me some feedback. Tell me what you guys think about this whole thing. Do you think the hype has died down? Do you just think that they have been producing more and that's why they are not selling out? But honestly, I mean, for this still to be stuff after 19 hours on the site, when previously they were selling out in 5 minutes, to me I kind of feel like maybe the customer actually has everything now and she's like, well, why am I going to buy anything? Or as a customer like me, who feels like there is nothing more for me to buy. I've bought stuff that I could, would wear, but now you're releasing a black. I'm not going to wear black. You're releasing a crusty light blue aqua color. I'm not going to wear that. Um, the dark blue color, not interested in a navy lipstick. Um, the metallic lipstick with the uh, blue and the specks of silver glitter in it. I'm not going to wear that. I'm really not interested in it. So I kind of feel like maybe it's all those little things um, that are kind of like adding up to why maybe there was so much stuff left. Um, but as I said, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, if you have any suggestions for when I film the review, let me know um, how you guys want to see it. Um, I'm kind of thinking of different ways I could actually do the review. Maybe do it like a food test on camera as well and see, like literally eat on camera. Um, but if you guys just like have any other suggestions as well, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think of this video. Um, do you think I've wasted my money and bought all this stuff? Um, just tell me what, what you guys think. And as always guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you want to know more about um, these products, Definitely check out my blog post and if you want to know how you can purchase it yourself, check out my previous video um, where I do go through tips and tricks. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, definitely leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time guys, um, I will see you soon. Bye!